I'd just like to clarify that I'm not a candidate or anything. I just I think they're cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so I just thought I'd be here because um, I do think free speech is obviously very important. Um, but I do tend to spend a lot of time defending people that I, I just hate. I, I hate bigotry. I want to stand it out. Um, and really, I agree with a lot of people who do want to impose restrictions on free speech in that um, I want to see a world where we don't have bigotry, where we don't have racism, homophobia, etc, etc. But we disagree on how we go about it. Um, I fundamentally believe that just banning things doesn't work. It didn't work for drugs, didn't work for alcohol, didn't work for sex work. Um, just banning things is a knee-jerk reaction. It's a knee-jerk reaction and it's just not good policy. It doesn't work. And why would we do something that doesn't work? Um, it's kind of like, you know, in high school when people would bitch about you behind your back. Um, I hated that. But if someone came up to me and they said, Shanoon, you're an idiot and I hate your face and everything about you, I would rather that because I'm like, all right, cool, I've got something to work with here. Cool, uh, let's, uh, you know, we've got something here. I want hatred where I can see it so that I can challenge it. How the hell am I going to challenge something if I can't see it? Um, if we stop these people from expressing themselves, they're not going to just magically turn into nice people overnight. Um, in fact, if anything, they're just going to fester. They're going to be, you know, filled with even more hatred, uh, become the grand bigot supreme, um, and then we're really going to have an issue on our hands. So, um, I think we need to get good at challenging opinions that we don't like. Um, this is just a, a really good skill that everyone should learn how to do. You know, without getting nasty, go, all right. So you hang on, so just clarify, this is what you believe in, okay, here's why I think it's wrong. And, and you know, challenge it, actually challenge it. We're losing the ability, and if we ban speech that we don't like, um, I think we will get bad at challenging things. And, um, yeah, I think it's in everyone's best interest if we um, are able to challenge it, we, we can see the hatred, um, and we can uh, deal with it, and hopefully eradicate it. Thank you, Siobhan, and thank you to all our speakers. And thank you uh, to you all for coming here today, despite the um, approaching hurricane. Um, this issue is very important, and it's only going to start getting worse unless we really stop being as afraid as we have been for the last 10 years or so. The defenders of freedom have been too weak in their approach. They've been too polite being too nice. Now is the time to stop that. We know the consequences. We've seen them before. You all remember the Berlin Wall. Well, I have no experience of Berlin Wall personally, but we know what it is. And you know what they called the Berlin Wall? The Russians called the Berlin Wall. They called it the anti-fascist protection barrier. <laughs> what does that sound like? Ladies and gentlemen, 18C is a Berlin Wall. It is a totalitarian instrument designed to control us. And as was said of 18C, uh, sorry, as was said of the Berlin Wall, very famously, I now say of 18C, tear down that wall! Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Um, this took a while to organize. We've postponed this a lot, but we're glad to see so many people coming out and yeah, sharing what we believe. So we'll try and organize something like this again in the future and even more numbers. So thanks again. See you around. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.